What is up guys, Sync here and we're back on Star Trek Fleet Command. So as you can see, coming soon is Act of War Part 2. And you all notice that these ships, uh, you've got the Legionary, you've got the Mayflower, you've got the D3. They have a sort of uh, dark grey and gold sort of theme to it. Now this is going to be part of the Augments event. It's going to be the Hijacked event. Let me quickly show you. So yeah, at the release of this video, there's going to be uh, some new events going on, which is, as you can see, Act of War Part 2. Now, you can't actually see it here because I'm actually recording the day before the release of the event, but when the event goes active, players level 17 and 18 can actually get involved with this. And what it is, is if you go to the ships right now, you're going to see four ships, the Separatist D3, the Hijack D3, the Hijack Mayflower and the Hijack Legionary. Now, as you saw from the screen earlier, they've all got this sort of grey gold look, apart from one, which is the Separatist D3. Now, this actually, I think, is the coolest looking of them all. And as you can see there, that is the D3, the Separatist one. And I just love the paint colour scheme on this because it just makes the D3 look more evil than it already looks. And I think it looks friggin' fantastic. Now, as we look here, the D3, the regular one, has 139,000. Uh, the Mayflower, 149,000. And then the Legionary, 152,000. So if we go to the actual hijacked ships, as well as Separatists, as you'll notice, the stats are exactly the same. What it is, is basically the Augments hijack these ships. In other words, they, they, they stole them. They're, they're thieving little buggers, that's what they are. They actually stole these ships, and you can actually get hold of them. And as you may notice, I can actually build the Mayflower. Um, but I'm going to show you right now. Scopely actually did this. So as you can see on screen right now, yes, that is the hijacked D3. They actually very kindly gave me the D3. And also here, as you can see, if we go to manage, they actually gave me the hijacked Mayflower as well as the hijacked D3. I thought that was very nice. So a big shout out to Scopely. Thank you so much for giving me these ships. Now, if you want to get hold of these ships, it's quite simple. As I say, level, players level 17 and 18, don't worry, you've got a chance of getting these. So during the event, you actually get missions or target events. So if I go over to here, as you can see here, the monthly event. And what it is, is you uh, get hijacked ship blueprints, Carol Marcus and other officer shards, ship components, materials and resources. Now, the specific information, it's all listed there. You've got the Alliance leaderboard, you've got the solo leaderboard, the solo milestone events PVE. Now, this will run every 24 hours, and every 24 hours it resets and you can carry on. Now, the solo, leader, uh, solo leaderboard event PVP, now you need to be level 26 or higher. Now, if you notice here that the commanders will be awarded points for engaging in faction ship warfare uh, within the following systems. Uh, so, Pirelion, which is level 26 and level 27s, Urthak, levels 28 and 29, yada 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 yada. Now, players will only score in the systems where their level bracket is located. So, I'm level 27 right now. So, if I start killing players in Pirelion, I'll get points. Now, if I go over to, say, Urthak or Constina, uh, Constina, yeah? I won't actually get points and same for the higher level players so level 30 plus players if they come over to Pirelion they won't get any points for killing me however we all know what alliances are like these days people in high level alliances that are level 30 who don't need like things like the D3 the Legionary or the Mayflower they're gonna go and hit off all the higher level players so that their level 26 and level 27 players can take out the easy targets. We all know that's what's going to happen. Now the Klingon Separatist, this is for the Separatist D3, that awesome red looking ship, is going to be the same as it was before. The big ass bosses in Pirelion, Orthak and Costina 
and the elites which i actually showed a video on uh well actually i've done two videos on this uh one was during the fractured empire event and also a video where i showed how to get the inter was it the interceptor parts uh, in radaban Colran, and azuri so there's there's some uh, good places to go and farm those parts but that's also for the elites now a guy in the creators content program that i'm in with stfc actually did a nice little video on these bosses about how to be able to score absolutely tons of points even if you're low level to actually get the points for the the leaderboard which i'm actually gonna see if my mate still has that video up if he has i'm gonna leave that in the description of the video so that's what you can actually do to get points and uh get your rankings within the events now this is the free way of getting all these hijack ships as well as the separatist ship now if you one of these people who doesn't like spending time doing all that stuff there is the other option which will be actually in the store now again you won't be able to see it here on my screen because the event actually doesn't start till tomorrow because i'm doing this what's the date today it's the 18th today it doesn't go live until the 19th so i'm pre-recording this ready now as i say so there's two ways of getting these hijack ships it's the events or the store if you've got a big ass wallet which we all know there's people out there who'll just go ahead and buy the ships again i'm so thankful that um scopely actually gave me these ships there we go there is the mayflower and there is my d3 the d3 looks so tiny though compared to a uh, say the vaclas the vaclas there the D3 looks so tiny, it's so cute. But as I say, my favourite one out of the whole thing it has to be... Where is it again? It's over here. The Separatist D3. I mean, comment. It looks so cool. Now, I'm actually hoping, and I'm going to suggest it to them. Maybe in the future, we're going to be able to design a colour scheme for our ships. I know when we're out in the galaxy, it won't make any difference. Nobody actually really scrolls in so much that they actually get to see the ships. But, you know, when we're looking in the dark, like a second ago, when we're looking in the dark, it'd be not... Oh, wrong button. It'd be so nice just to see a colour scheme. Because, as you can see, the Mayflower there, you can actually see the gold and grey, as well as on the D3. Well, it's, it's too tiny, you can't actually get to see it. But, yeah... So that is the event that is starting as of the release of this video. So for you guys that are looking to get your first actual faction ship at level 26, this is going to be a good way to do it. Because when you do reach level 26, the only ship that you can actually research, unlock and actually get is the ECS Horizon. Which I must admit, I'm actually working on the research to get that right now. Because it's a plus 15% mining rate for dilithium. And we all know it's a pain in the ass to mine dilithium. So that's actually going to be a nice ship to get. Now, protected cargo is 1,750 and cargo capacity 105,000, which is kind of nice. But yeah, as I say, with the actual. I've gone past it. Yeah, with the first actual faction ship at level 26. The only way to actually get these is during the events, um, when the emissions are available, or buying it through the store. Now, if the store isn't actually selling it, you're stuck. You can't actually do anything to get these. So it's a good way to get your first level 26 faction ship. Now, I did mention that level 17s and 18s can get in on the event. So level 17s and 18s can actually start getting the blueprints from what I've been told by Scopely. So eventually... When you've got all the blueprints, I'm going to say it right now, you can't use it straight away. You do need to be uh, level 26 with your actual shipyard. So you cannot build any of the D3s, uh, Mayflowers or Legionary hijack ships until you reach hang, uh, shipyard level 26. So don't think if you're level 17 and 18, oh, you're going to get a mega powerful ship at that level. It doesn't work that way. You still need to get the level requirement. But yeah, I, I, I'm really loving the colour schemes on this ship, uh, on these ships. And again, once more, a big thank you for Scopely for actually sending me these ships. I wish I actually saw the Separatist D3 because, as I say, I just love the colour scheme on that. I was going to ask for Legionary as well, but I thought that was a bit too greedy. Anyway, guys, that is actually going to be the event that is going on 
at the release time of this video and it's going to be going on for about a month so yeah get hunting guys anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like anything you want to know leave it in the comment section i always read the uh, comments and if you want me to answer something i always answer otherwise don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys next time Toodles!